What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the throttle body on this 2010 Toyota RAV4. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. Disconnect the negative battery terminal. We'll use a 10 millimeter wrench. Loosen this nut up. And pull the connection off and set this aside. You don't want this to arc out on the battery. So make sure it doesn't spring back. Uh, disconnect the mass airflow sensor right here. Just push down the tab, release the connector. There's a wire retainer right here. Just get a trim tool, get underneath there. Pry it up. Just like that. There's one over here as well. Disconnect that wire. Now I'm just going to use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. To loosen up this clamp, this clamp right here. Now we can pull the snorkel back, just like that. I'm just going to release these clips on the air box. Put those off. Pull the uh, air box out of the way. Pull the air filter out while I'm doing that. I'm just gonna use the 10 millimeter socket extension and electric ratchet to take these three bolts out of the air box. You don't necessarily need to take this air box out, but it's gonna be better for the video and also um, I might have a little more room. I'm just gonna use a pick. <clears throat> Remove this wire retainer right here. You can just kind of spread this apart. Should be able to get it to unclip. There we go. I'm gonna slide that wire out. Grab the box and slide it out. I'm just gonna remove this cover to get it out of the way. Just grab underneath and pull up. Just slide it out. All right, now I'm gonna take this bracket out. You can try to use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen up that screw so that you can pull this valve off, but um, the screw is pretty tight on this one. So I'm just gonna use a trim tool and we're just gonna pry the bracket out of here. like that. And we can just take this hose out of the way. And I'm just going to take a hose clamp, hose clamp pliers, take this hose clamp off, loosen it up. Try to move this hose to separate it. And it's not separating too well. So actually I'm going to separate it over here. Take this hose clamp off. Slide that down, just grab the hose and twist. There we go. All right, I wanna loosen up this hose clamp right here. I'm gonna use a cable style hose clamp plier. Slide it over the hose clamp. And loosen that up. That loosened up. Try to grab the snorkel, just rotate it and pull it off. There's a vacuum line right here. This goes all the way over to the um, brake booster. So slide that out of the bracket. And there's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. I'm just gonna use a 10 millimeter socket extension and a ratchet. Take this bracket off. I'm just gonna leave everything attached to the bracket and just move it out of the way. And just slide this to the side. There's some hoses attached on the side here. It's gonna be kind of hard to see, but we wanna take those hoses off. This 
one just has a little clamp that you can use just your fingers to move it. And you can try twisting the hose. Now take this hose off right here. Um, if you need to, you can take a right angle pick and just get in there and loosen up the hose. Now there's another clamp on this vacuum hose that you can either take it off right here or take it off down there. All right, I'm just gonna use my hose clamp pliers, squeeze the hose clamp, and just try to move it down the hose. And just twist the hose and wiggle it off. And there we go, got it off. These hose clamp pliers work pretty good. You just line it up with the clamp and then squeeze it. That's how they work. So there's one of these hoses that is still attached to the intake that goes to the solenoid right here, the bottom hose. So you're just gonna have to try to get that one off. You can either disconnect it on the intake or disconnect it on this side. It's just a vacuum hose. If it's pretty brittle, um, you could just cut it and just replace it. I'm just gonna use the pick. There we go. A little bit of vacuum there. Slide that off. Disconnect the connector right here. Just push down on the button. Let's slide that off. There's the button. There's a fuel line right here. Just move that fuel line out of the way. You could take that, um, this bracket off if you needed to, but we'll just move it out of the way for now. And then there's two coolant lines that go to the throttle body. Now what you could do is just pop those lines off, um, but you're gonna lose a lot of coolant. So I'm gonna use these coolant hose pinchers. We actually sell these at 1AAuto.com. What you're gonna do is just put one around here like this and then just tighten down the wing nut that's going to tighten off the coolant prevent some of the coolant loss you still still good idea to top off the coolant after you're done the job but this is going to prevent a lot of coolant from coming out and you don't have to tighten these too tight just just snug Good. I'm gonna put one on the other one as well. So just make sure there's no pressure in the coolant system. Just grab the uh, radiator hose and give it a squeeze. Make sure it's not hot before you pop these off because you don't want to get a face full of coolant. And we'll use the hose clamp pliers. You could probably use regular pliers to get these clamps off too. Just hose clamp pliers work a little better. All right, just move those down like that. Same with this one. You take a pick, right angle pick, and just try to pop these lines off. Let's get in there. I'm gonna lose a little bit of coolant. You can put a bucket underneath the car to catch any of the coolant. And slide that off. Like that, not too much coolant. And same with the other one. Now I'm gonna take these four bolts out. I'm just gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and an extension and a ratchet. Take these out. With all those bolts out, just grab the throttle body and slide it out. Just be careful with it, don't drop it. I can take this rag off. I did put a rag down over this throttle body opening in the intake so that I didn't drop anything in there. Take that away. And it'd be a good idea to replace this seal right here. Um, we're not going to because I don't have another seal, but you can just pull up on that little tab right there, get a new throttle body seal. So that looks good. Slide the throttle body in position. Now if it's easier, before I put the bolts in, you can hook these hoses up. So, line that one up on the bottom, and this one goes on top. And 
little bit easier to do that before we put the bolts in. And we can take these little clamps off. That's just for coolant to go through the throttle body. Keep it cool. Slide those off. And you could use pliers if you don't have hose clamp pliers. Sometimes it's easier. Oops. Just move those hose clamps down in position. Same with this one. Make sure that bottom hose is all the way on. There we go. That's good. Now I'll take these four bolts. Get these bolts started. Take a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. And we'll tighten these bolts down. Then I'm gonna take the same 10 millimeter socket and a torque wrench and torque these to seven foot pounds. Take the connector, line the connector up, lock it in place. Take this fuel hose, line that up in that bracket right there. Now take this hose in the back. I'm gonna connect this hose to this hose. And then take the, the clamp and line the clamp up. You can do it with your fingers. You, don't, you shouldn't need pliers. But if you do, use pliers. And then that's gonna go right there, just like that. Now you may not have taken that off for replacing the throttle body, but if you did, put that back on. Take the lower portion of the air box, line this back up. Then there's three bolts. Take the three bolts. One goes right there, and then the other two down here. And we'll just snug those up. Use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Tighten these down. Install the air filter. Now we're gonna take this snorkel and I have my hose clamp already started on the hose clamp. Hose clamp tool started on the hose clamp and slide it over the throttle body. Oh, that popped off. Just gonna have to reset that. All right, I got it close with the other hose clamp tool. Now I'm just gonna position it a little bit better. That looks pretty good right there. And this hose is gonna go right here. And this solenoid, or this valve is gonna go right here. Slide that back in position, just like that. And we'll take this hose, slide that right onto the valve cover like that and you should be able to pinch this with your fingers move this hose clamp on might be a little easier to slide it down before you slide it over the valve cover right there we want to take these two ears in the box and those are going to go in the back right there where the slot is just move the snorkel out of your way Slide that in position. Make sure this cable's out of your way. And lock this in place. That's good. Slide the snorkel back on. Just like that. I'll just plug this in. Plug this into the mass airflow sensor. And then the retainers. Right there, and right there. Now let's tighten up that worm clamp. You can either take a Phillips head screwdriver or a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet and tighten this down. And take the engine cover, line this back up, and push it back down. And take the battery cable, reinstall that. You can use a 10 millimeter socket or a 10 millimeter wrench and a ratchet, snug that up. Just make sure it's snug, which is good. 
After this job, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you take the coolant cap off and top off the coolant. Um, if a lot of coolant came out, then you're gonna to have to bleed the system. So use the appropriate coolant. Check your owner's manual. You can use a funnel to do this if you wanted to, or just be careful. So you're gonna fill it up, then you wanna let it run, monitoring the coolant system for about 10 minutes. If you put the heat on low, um, and then watch the temp gauge, and shut it off in 10 minutes and recheck the level. Put the cap back on. Thanks for watching. If you want the parts to do it yourself, check out 1AAuto.com, the place for DIY auto repair.